The following is a paid program. Opinions and views expressed do not necessarily reflect the views of this station. Season three. We're on season three already? This is for season three. Oh my god. god. Where did the first two, two seasons go? I don't know. Did we start at three? Who we edited that? Who edited that stuff? I don't know. Carbone GMC Chevrolet presents Off the Beaten Path. Closed captioning for Off the Beat and Path is brought to you by Oneida Electrical Contractors, Horatio Street, Utica, New York, OneidaElectric.com, a veteran-owned company. How you doing, everybody? Uh, we're up here in uh, northern New Brunswick. Cher and I and Maggie the Wonder Dog, we're on our spring bear trip with uh, Bear Addiction Outfitters, Mark Havers, and our guide, Ben. They tell, tell us there's a lot of nice bear hitting the baits. We're anticipating a real nice hunt. Uh, wanted to show you our accommodations while we're here. We're, we're in the cabin, and uh, Cheryl will pan out pan out our backyard here. And we've got right here at the campsite. We've got loons. We got bluebirds. We've got uh, hummingbirds. Uh, there's we've seen moose. Pick out of it. We've seen moose. Uh, partridge and bear and we're just so excited can't wait for the hunt So we're up here in New Brunswick, and uh, our, our guide is, is down, took the four-wheeler down to pick up our bear. Uh, we'll see when it gets back up the top of the hill here. I guess it's a, it's a real real nice bear, about 250 and real pretty. Uh, good hit, good solid hit with a 270. Uh, bear went a couple hundred yards, no blood. Didn't bleed, but uh, we heard the death ball, and uh, Ben's down to down to pick it up now, and uh, we'll get right back to you with a picture of that bear.
Off the beaten path is supported by black gold premium bow sights, ripcord arrow rust, bow guru bow strings, ram cap broadheads. Carbone Chevrolet GMC, Commercial Drive, Yorkville, New York, CarboneGM.com. Stewards of the land need New Holland, and for New Holland, Clinton Tractor and Implement Company. The Caldona Family, Clinton, New York. Have you been lucky enough to harvest a big whitetail or big bear in New York State? Then you need to look at the New York State Big Buck Club, the official record book for New York State's biggest and best whitetails and New York State trophy record bears. Log on to the website where you can locate your local measurer, order record books, and then swing over their Facebook page where you can locate past stories on previous hunts. So log on to NewYorkStateBigBuckClub.com. Join us this year at the Big East Camping and Outdoor Sports Show, March 23rd through the 25th, 2018. BigEastShows.com. Registration is now open for vendors. They're sleeping, yeah, beauty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We made some good time. We're going to meet up with Ben Rogi of Black River Valley Outfitters for a little September early goose season on the Tug Hill Plateau of New York. This segment of Paving the Way for Youth in the Outdoors is brought to you by our friends at Central Paving, Frankfurt, New York. On this episode of Paving the Way for Youth in the Outdoors, we're going to join up with Goose Man of Goose Man Game Calls as he takes Ryan and Frankie out on Derider Lake for a little bluegill fishing. Rich, and this is where all the, all the freshwater shrimp is and stuff. And then these orange marks are fish. We have fish down in here. We're going to be fishing right about the bottom of the thermal clay. Is where we're going to be. That was too small to keep. These are sunnies. We're after bluegills. These, these are sunnies. These are tasty too. That's probably the colors. You kiss me? No. Get out of these things because we don't want to catch these little things. 
Yeah, we're gonna want to get out of these nice. little baby ones here. Looks a little better. Hey, oh. there's a keeper. Bang. There you go. <laughs> so this is what we're after on your deep water bluegills. There's a nice bull. That's a that's a good fish anywhere, nice and thick across the back. And that fish come out of about 20 foot of water in this reservoir here. That water is good and cold down there, and they eat just as good as they do in the winter. And there's a real good example of a nice male bull bluegill right there, real pretty. Lighter nice. colored, a little brighter blue here. Uh, just in general, lighter colored fish. That's your female. Nice one. Nice, nice one, Frank. Those fish are about 18 feet deep. So what we're doing is we're setting our rig on that 18 feet deep, and then we're going to set our line stop. And all your reels come with a line stop. So we know we're 18 feet down right here. So when I open a bale, it's going to drop to 18 feet, close the bale, we're on the fish. We're going to be right in the zone. So right. this bottom is a carpet of these things. We found them, guys. Now Bigger we're than my them. hand. Yeah. You got it on there? Oh, Dad, look. Nice one. Front of the camera. It's okay. Sandwiches in the world, but they're cold. There's your female. Forward. There's a nice male. Okay, you got the goose man here from Goose Man Game Calls, and we're taking a break from the geese who are out here in. Uh, one of the reservoirs in upstate New York, and there's a phenomenon that happens in all these uh, all these reservoirs and small lakes uh, when the thermocline gets in here in July and August. Your bluegills will collect in the thermocline just like trout do. They get after the uh, freshwater shrimp, and so we're out here getting after these fish, uh, and we have a pretty good time, boys, catching a few of them. Yeah. Yeah. And generally, the biggest the biggest fish in the lake will be out in thermocline. I'll show you how to tie our deep water bluegill rig. This is six pound fluorocarbon. Uh, you can go to four, but some of these bulls can get pretty big, and when you're catching them two at a time, I like a little bit heavier line, the six. These are number ten blackbird hooks, and we're just going to string that on. We're going to come back and we're going to string a second one. Now we're using a little a 3 8 drop shot weight. <clears throat> and these attach with the drop shot swivel this easy. We're going to thread that on and give that a pull. Now we're going to come about six inches up and we're going to do a double loop. Very simple. A double loop and that's going to leave a little free swinging dropper. So when they suck that little bait in, your waxworm or your Mackey plastic, they'll take it right in. We're going to make that loop about like that. There's your first loop. We come up about this far up. Tie your second loop. Tie that in, and then we'll have. And that's how you have your rig, just like that. And that's how you tie. Jerry Rice, the owner of uh, Gerator Marina and General Store. Jerry, thank you for letting us yeah. launch here. Thanks for coming. And uh, he's got a couple words about the lake. Well, the lake is overpopulated with bluegill, and we need them to come out of the lake, so um, love to have you come out and on a daily basis and catch our limit. There you have it, fellas. They're delicious eating. Come on out. It's an easy lake to figure out. Uh, also got walleyes, and it's a great bass lake, too. So come on out. I'm Frank. I'm Ryan. And we want fish fishing with Goose, Goose Man. <laughs> and a big thanks goes to Goose Man Game Calls, Hunt them All, Sutton's Taxidermy, Central Square, New York, PSE Archery, and Slay Odor Neutralizer. When performance counts, count on Heart Rifle Barrels.
heartbarrels.com. The Gunworks of Central New York, Verona, New York. Let the experts at Oneida Electrical Contractors get your job done right. Head on over to the Off the Beaten Path website where you can learn more about us, view our previous episodes, and learn more about our partners and our preferred outfitters. We're having a good time here this morning with Black River Valley Outfitters. Me, Shane, Steven, Chris, Ian. Rocking out. It's my turn. Not my turn. Go that way. season uh, 
Canadian geese with Black River Valley Outfitters. We had a pretty successful morning for you know a couple hours shooting. Uh, everyone got to shoot, so it was a good morning, all in all. Yeah, we had a good hunt this morning. It was uh, you know a little slower than what we're used to in September. We haven't really seen quite the quite the bird movement that we typically like to see. They're starting to come in. We're starting to get some more fresh fresh flocks coming in from the north. We're getting later in the month, so this is the time where it starts to get good. Um, so finding an X has been a little tough this year. The birds have been seeing a lot of hunting pressure. So what we did today was we ran a traffic field. We hunted close to a roost, tried to intercept birds as they came off the water to feed, and it was successful. Um, you know, we didn't expect to have a big shoot today, but we expected to hunt some pressured birds, some birds that were going to be a challenge, uh, you know, in a field that, uh, that the majority of them haven't been using a whole lot. So um, what we ended up here today was, uh, was a nice number of geese. Everybody got some shooting in. Uh, all the birds that we killed today were feet down, decoying over the over the decoys. We called them right in. They came into the flags, the calls, and everybody shot pretty good. So it was a successful hunt. Had a great time hunting here with Ian and uh, and the crew. So For your next adventure, visit our friends at Eastern Canadian Outfitters in Quebec, Black River Valley Outfitters, Carthage, New York, Urban Buckeye Outfitters, Ohio, Okeechobee Outfitters, Laredo, Florida, Upland and Antler Kennels, Corning, New York, and Real Intense Fishing, West Palm Beach, Florida. Carbon Chevrolet GMC, Commercial Drive, Yorkville, New York, CarboneGM.com. The Thousand Islands leader for non-ethanol gas and regular gas is your one-stop shop Victorian Convenience Center. Swing into their convenience store and pick up some chips, snacks, beer, or soda, or whatever else you might need. They've got it all. If in the mood for a little something extra, stop by their attached subway shop. Grab yourself a six inch or a foot long. Need to catch up on some laundry after that extra long stay? Just visit their attached laundromat as well. The Victorian Convenience Center, 905 James Street, Clayton, New York. Be sure to join our Off the Beaten Path Facebook page where you can share your photos and view our current events and highlights. The Big Buck Profile is brought to you by the New York State Big Buck Club. Well, here we are with another beautiful buck being entered in the book this year, New York State Big Buck Club. Uh, we got Kirk with us today. Kirk, thanks for stopping by. Oh, thanks. Um, tell me a little bit about your deer. What county, what weapon, and uh, gross inches? Um, I got him in Niagara County. He was with, with a bow. Um, he, his, he's somewhere around 173. Net, I think 177 uh, grows somewhere in that range. Oh. Yeah, it was a Veterans Day weekend, uh, November 8th, and right place, right time, I guess. Yeah, amazing animal. Is that your biggest, biggest deer harvest? He's ball? my biggest by about 12 points, probably. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thanks a lot for stopping by, sharing Thank your you. story. My Congratulations. Thanks. To learn more about the New York State Big Buck Club or to order your own record book, go to NewYorkStateBigBuckClub.com. This cooking segment is brought to you by Tailwater Lodge on the famous Salmon River in Altmar, New York. Hey, welcome back, friends. It's Chef John at Tailwater Lodge. Uh, I'm here today to cook some wild turkey tacos. Really interesting recipe we have here from my buddy James. Uh, I took some turkey breast, okay, the wild turkey. Cut it up in kind of like a small shred, not really, really small, but just like these little shavings almost. 
did what we call a wet rub on it. It's lime juice, apple cider vinegar, a little cinnamon, garlic, oregano, chili, cilantro. So we should hear a good sear here. The more I spread it out, the more searing I'm gonna get, more coverage of browning. So it's almost totally cooked here. I'll start moving it around. Yep, that's decent. I got some good browning here. That's good, good, good. Smell it. Gonna put this in a bowl, save it for later. I'll keep it warm. So I got a pan moderately hot, just a touch of oil in here. Put that down and spin it. Brown up a little bit. So this is a raw dough right now. Okay, back in action. All right, I got, I made my fresh tortilla shells. Okay, I got some cilantro here, some lettuce. You can put whatever you want in your, in your tacos, right? But I, I love zest, I love the flavor of zest. So a little bit of lime zest. The, there's so much flavor in the turkey that I don't really like to douse, you know, all the, the usual suspects of a salsa and, a, and sour cream, stuff like that. I really want the turkey to be the star here. Put some of this turkey meat in there that's got all that nice dry rub, it's been seared. All right. Got a little, I got a little chopped up bell pepper here. Some chopped fresh cilantro, these are some tomatoes. Thin slices of tomatoes. Again, nothing is, nothing's gonna overpower this because I, I want the turkey to be the star. Onion's really strong as well, so I'm being very careful how much I put in there. The colors are beautiful too. Got this chopped cilantro. Wow, that's not beautiful. Holy cow. Woohoo. That is awesome. You can squeeze some uh, lime on here if you want. Just a little bit, and that's it. There's our turkey tacos.